Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Before I get into today's story, that man on your screen, his name is Errol MacDonald, popularly known as Jerky. Jerky, he met his demise at the hands of hoodlums shortly after 12.30 on the early morning of Sunday, November 12th. That female on your screen, that's Jerky's queen. Her name is Tracy. No. Ever since I've started YouTube, every morning on November 27, Jerky, he make it a point of his duty to send me his voice notes and photographs wishing Tracy a happy birthday. Here are the voice notes that Jerky sent last year. Listen this. Morning, boss. Sir. Good afternoon. Now. Um, Sunday coming is Tracy's birthday, so I'm just up light your friend now. Um, I don't have to tell you what you say. I'm just send you a picture. I know you know how to splice him, dice him, and set him how you want him. So, just make it nice. You know, if you remember all five kids' names, so Sharika, Tiana, Romian, Trey, and Liana. If you remember everybody else's name, Miss Black name, Femin name, and so I know you remember that. Queen Tracy. Me know say it rough, but let's hope that today your entire family is gonna ensure that you have a wonderful birthday and may you live to see a whole lot more. In this video, we are gonna be talking to a mother. Her name is Raquel. On September 25, 1998, Raquel's 7-year-old son Randall Kadim Dooley, also known as Randy, he died in Canada. His father, Edward Dooley, also known as Tony, he told police investigators that Randy fell from his bed. Police investigations unearthed evidence that Randy, he was murdered by Tony and his stepmother, Marcia. In fact, within two months after Randy arrived in Canada, in January 1998, Randy was at school when something was brought to the attention of his grade 1 teacher. There were signs that he was being abused. About a week later, Randy he was taken to hospital for a broken elbow. In April 1998, his teacher found welts on his arm. He was taken to the vice principal's office where they saw more than 25 marks on randy's back like i said before randy he died on september 25 an autopsy was done on randy's body and it showed that he suffered 13 broken ribs a lacerated liver a tooth was found in his stomach and he had four brain injuries all of this he suffered at the hands of his stepmother marcia and his father tony seven-year-old randy he weighed only 41 pounds at the time of his death a pathologist testified in court that he found evidence that randy had been stamped on and kicked randy's brother tigo he testified in court that his stepmother, Marcia, would frequently beat Randy with a belt until she moved onto broomsticks and her fist. The father, Tony, he admitted in a police videotape that he beat Randy with a belt a few weeks before he died. Both Marcia and Tony, they were charged for murder with the death of seven-year-old randy the trial began on january 15 2002 and on april 18 
2002. A jury convicted both of them for second degree murder. They were both sentenced to life imprisonment. The court said that Marcia would be eligible for parole after serving 18 years and Tony, he would be eligible after serving 13 years. In December 2022, Marcia, she was granted parole after serving 20 years in prison and late last month, Edward Dooley, also known as Tony, he was released on parole after serving over 22 years in prison. He had applied for parole twice before, but CM was denied. Tony, he was deported back to Jamaica after he was released from prison. There has been a lot said about this case, but for the first time, you are going to be hearing from Randy's mother, Raquel. It's a long interview and we are going to be doing it in maybe two parts. Remember to hit on the love button from now. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that as soon as we upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Here goes. Hey, Raquel, good day. How are you doing? I'm very good. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. Um, how have you been keeping up? Because I've been reading a lot about your son's story and about you. How have you been keeping up? Um, to, to be honest, at this moment and time, I'm not doing well. To be honest, mm. because yeah. there's a lot of things going on, and this is why I get in contact with you. Yes. Because um, for 25 years, my son died 1998, and yes. I've been quiet. I haven't said anything about this family, and they are every time they get a chance, they persecute me. They um do things to defamate my character. And I, I sit still, I hold it and everything. But now, um, they've got a brother who's crossed the line. You understand? And I think it's time for me because Randy, he doesn't have a voice on his that side. He doesn't have a voice on my mother and my um, family side. So it only leaves to me, right or wrong. Um, right, let's let's step back. Tell me, tell me about you. You are from Jamaica, right? I am. Yes. Um and your you your your son Randall du Dooley, right? Yes. All right, go step back and tell me about Randall, his father, and whatever information you want to tell us. Tell us about you in Jamaica because you're not in Jamaica now. So tell us about you in Jamaica, Randall, the father, mm -hmm. and and so on. Yes. Okay. I okay. I grew up in Kingston Waterhouse. I live in Bins Road. And um, by chance, my mom was friends with Tony's family, which he became um, acquainted to me. You know, we liked each other because, to be honest, he wasn't like a bad person in my sight. And mm -hmm. he didn't treat me bad or anything. And then it happened that um, I got pregnant when I was in 10th um, ten, ten grade in high school. Mm -hmm. um, I had Tico when I was 16. Um, when Tigo was three months, I found that I was pregnant with Randy. So basically, um, I had Tigo in July and Randy the next year, he was born in August. Mm -hmm. So I had, yes, yeah, so I had two children like within a year. Within I a year, say, nine yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was in a toxic, his father um he was working as a chef in the Wyndham hotel and he was a top chef and um he became friends with um bad company he started smoking crack and when i found out like one night um i was looking for him um because i went to, my mom she doesn't live far so i went to my mom to get some food and when i came back he wasn't there so you know i was looking around because we don't live far from each other Mm -hmm. And then I saw him was smoking this place, but for some reason, it smells so funny because I grew up. My dad is a Rasta. My mom she smokes weed, and you know it's his just smells so different. I'm yes. Like, Why we smell so different? So he became defensive. This is the first time I've ever seen Tony being 
angry like a demon to be honest yeah. mm -hmm. and i guess it's because you were smoking them time them call it season spliff mm -hmm. so when i find out now say tony i smoked the season spliff then because me find out them times remember i told you i was pregnant with tigo so them times i was seven months pregnant when i found out that tony was um smoking and how, how like, old was tony at that time how old tony was he at was that time 24 like tony was 24 20, okay was 24. Mm -hmm. yes and when when i lived in tony's yard and tony he's got siblings in there i was the only stranger living there because tony's got the brother mm -hmm. he's got um three sisters so that's how many of them three tony five and i am the only mm -hmm. um um, and all of them is eye color. I'm the only black one, right? Yes. So they mm -hmm. were colorist as well. So, you know, um, when I found out Tony was smoking, you know, you know that, to be honest, Tony gave me one piece of beating the night with my seven months belly, mm -hmm. Popeye, honestly to God. And I was like, what are, you, what are you doing this for? You know, and Popeye, you know, as me tell you, said, in family, I'm living at the house, nobody came out the night. No one came out to my rescue. So anyway, the next day now, uh, my school friends, because I told her I was going to high school, it just so happened that my school friend came to visit me, Papai, on that yes. day. Yes. I, I didn't want to come out because I was embarrassed because, you know, you jump out of school, then they come find out, man, I beat you, your face mm -hmm. was up. Like, me never want that. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it was like, yes. your friend's outside, and I was saying to him, like, why would I want to go out to my friends looking like this? I'm pregnant, and then have a man abuse me. You understand? Mm -hmm. And to be honest, Papa, I told you he fought, he fought me the night before. And I told myself that I put this knife in the, you, you know, you know them have them old time cabinet, Jamaican, mm -hmm. where we put um, nice um, salsa and cup and stuff like that. Yeah? Yes. So um, I told him before, in, the night when he beat me up, I said to him, say, if you put my hand on me again, I'm going to stab you up. And I said to God, I mean, I hide nothing from you because, you know, a transparent thing as I yes. said to you. So, yes. I put the knife in the, in the cabinet. And honestly, the day when Tony come out, I have braids in my ear, you know. I mean, they just braid my ear the Sunday. My friend came the month. My, my friend them came the Monday. I'm a pregnant. You know, when the ear braid, it just knew it tight. Yeah? Yes. So, he my force me to go out to my friend and I don't want to. You know, him hold me in my ear, Popeye. Mm -hmm. And I said to God, I'm a pregnant. Me, I beg the man for let go out of my ear. Would him let go out of my ear? Papa, me use my hand. Knock the, 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 the cabinet open because it closed. Me, I have to use yeah. my hand, knock it quick, pull the knife out and stab him like a couple times well. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Just to escape from him. And my school friends, I was there, they were screaming like, ah, you no, know, no, they was falling up and I was running because I was scared. You know, I was pregnant. I remember I stabbed him. So, you know, I panicked because he was bleeding. And then his family was coming to me. And then I started running like, and they was calling me, Papa, I was running and he was running me down. Yes. He was running me down with my big stomach. You understand? And I fell over. And then I had a brother. He was like about, maybe about 12, so. He was playing mm. football, you know, Jamaican football, they have the stones in the road where they use as goal. Yes, yeah. yes. My brother started me running because my father, brother, like, what do you do? So my brother starts stoning him with the stone, them, um, where, what, 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 that was the goal. So just to leave me alone, yeah, sort of thing, you understand? So mm -hmm. everybody starts coming. And I want to say, why you not go to the leave her alone? She's pregnant and she fall down. Like, and then put him, carry him down, so him go to the hospital. Anyway, when we go to the hospital, you know, this wicked man, yeah. He might tell the doctor them say um it's me stabbing because it's public hospital look because I'm a Oliver Kingston, you know. Right? Yes. So we told we end up at the same hospital. You know, he might tell the doctor them say, Oh, why him get this stab? Because him get a stab three inch from him heart. If he got three inch more, he would have died. So well, he mm. might tell the doctor them say, Oh, that's the baby mother was stabbing up. But him have this sister. She's the only one. I'm not gonna call her name. But regardless mm -hmm. of what mood, I never ever did be disrespectful for her because she's the only one ever stand up for me. And mm -hmm. in, she, 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 she said to him, say, why you do that? Like, sort of thing. Tell them the truth. Like, you hit her first and sort of thing. Like, you know, self-defense, mm -hmm. sort of thing. 
and that's how the doctor start look for me because you know they were men doctors and they were taking up they were taking his side even though i was pregnant all of the side of my foot because you know i was running i fell on my side so you know because jamaican have the asphalt it roughed mm. all of my side of my foot rub off like you know when you jump off a bike or your skin yes. skid that's how my skin skid off mm -hmm. right so I went to the hospital and anyway, you know, people are saying you, you, you're 16 and your first child and you know, you be a father, you know, my mother have our kids them, you know, if we go back up on my mother, you know, it happened as me stay with him because you know, I get to ask people stay. You remember, mm -hmm. you know, me, me are 16, everybody older than me, me I tell you yes. this, everyone was older than I was, right? Papa, I remember, you know, I was going to school, me depressed already, knowing, say, me messed up my future. Like, you know, you get pregnant now, like they, you know, and then have mm -hmm. the crooked baby father of the in-laws them and me. Like, how, how, how mental stable could I be? Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. Like, there was no support system, like, you know, the sense we say, in the right way. Because there is way to do things, you know, because, you know, remember this, you know, people say ungrateful. Because what they're thinking is right for you is not. And you know that for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Anyway, we dear and we end up pregnant with Randy. Tony in smoking. And then when Tony starts smoking, now remember, you know, everybody pretend like Tony now smoke. When we say Tony is a crackhead, believe me, like firing me, they know. And we say crackhead. They all bought the place. That was Tony. Dirty. No beard. We don't see him for two weeks. Papai. Yes, I remember I have Randy. I have Tigo. With this man now coming with no income. You know, sometimes it's embarrassing for go up my mother. The same woman where I want me to stay at school. And, you know, no support. So yes. I think. Yeah. You understand? Me have to mm -hmm. end up back there again. Tony will go disappear for all two weeks because the man crack bender. You understand? People at Jamaica cannot understand when they're on crack binging. You understand? Mm -hmm. When I'm a fine out now, so Tony really a smoke. Because Tony is somebody, honestly, he was so kind to me. You understand? When he starts smoking, now I realize when he start giving me the money, he must send him friend and say, Oh, he have money for this one, he have money for that one, until me end up not have no money for myself. So the friend then come back to you for your money? Yes. Until the okay. iron start to sell, everything starts to sell. But he might blame me. I see yes. family them because them have cataract over them I am because me the black sheep in them yard. Yeah, them act like say the things them we are missing is me do it because Tony did end up selling sister passport. That's how crack out he was. And guess mm -hmm. who them blame for it? Me, mm -hmm. the, the minor. Yeah. Me, the minor. When the brother shot their jail for. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Papa, the man, when him the pan jog bender, he would have killed me, mercy, help me, God, Father, God. When I'm pregnant, when I'm pregnant, Papa, the amount of kick that man, they kick me, me stop count. And sometimes, me not fight back. Because guess why? Sometimes I feel like I deserve it. Because I should have school, if you know what I mean. Me in a yes. reality, and sometimes I alter it. You feel me? Yes. yes. If I didn't have someone who could have run away, I would have gone. You understand? Sometimes I beg God the day when he might kick me sometimes, just let me not get up back. Let me be dead, push back me there. Swear, the embarrassment, the, the, the everything. Me cry, tear was me everything. Uncle was my best friend. Like, me got through it. Mm. Yeah? Yes, yes. Boom, yes. Now, Tony, me tell you, when I'm a small crack, them telling them that a phone yard, you know, the illegal phone, when them go, go them get gal pan phone and you know all these things, how we get to people, me attack, get to car, me not attack up to me, never live up to me, live a ghetto. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when him start go a phone yard now, it kind of get like, he met the girl on the phone, so it interests him, because he want to go for it now, right? So mm -hmm. it happened that the same brother now, when I send the thing that when talk about Chris Trent Setter, him yes. come down from Canada because him got Canada, him they live there, but him got Canada, him got, he end up got Canada. So he come down now, get some bandolo papers for the brother, and me hear say the brother I got foreign. Me say me sit down on the bed, same place, three days before the boy got foreign. And me say, Father God, please, me know me messed up my life, but me I beg you, make him go a foreign, make him go a dead house. Are we, are we talking about twenty, right? Yes. Me yes. Say, Father God, me I tell him a prayer come. Me remember it, fit, me remember it for thirty years. Me I tell you, me say, Father God, make him go a prison. 
make him go a foreign because me go put him under the ground. And the day when me stop up Tony, me cry to God and me tell God that I'm gonna never do, me never gonna never be a murderer. You mm-hmm. understand? This is my promise, God. Kinda like say me afraid of Tony. You understand? Yes. So when Tony got a foreign now, my mom tell us I talk to the girl, you know, and end up, end up the girl was can she come from Canada. I'm so hold on, when 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 he left for Canada, the children would be how old at that time? Tigo was my mom tell us that Tigo and Randy them a year apart. Cause one born July, one born August, one born nineteen ninety July, mm-hmm. the other born nineteen ninety one August. August. When okay. them got Randy not walking. Randy was eight months. The people them give me grief. Cause Randy never walked. So, so he so would have left when ninety two. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, ninety two. Okay. So Randy and, and Papa. I want to tell you this. When him a left, him a till crackhead. Because you know mm-hmm. no say. Me go up and my mother go eat stew peas, yeah? Papa, when mm-hmm. I come down, the mattress to dip on the bed. The boy mm-hmm. sell the mattress for crack. When him gonna find me asleep, I'm gonna close them for the bed, me and the two pity them, and him not talk them things. Them not talk him abusive ways. Them, them not talk the things when I got you as a, as a, as a 16 and 17 year old girl before them brother fly away. There was no assistance from them, me as a minor in them yard. And you see the people that will live from, you know them are hypocrite. You know all them steer. You understand? Mm. Them not see them see things, but because them are favorite to the people, them we are do it. It's right. If you know yeah. what I mean. Yes. Yeah. But my wall, my own. Every time, because every time I beat me, I run on the yard. And I'm stand up to him. I'm take it because I'm put myself in another situation there. You feel me? I'm no yeah. one got the other that got take me out of it. All right, then Tony mm. gonna foreign. Yeah. Say no no say this same. Man, because I don't mean, come here for degree them. As I tell you, I come to speak my truth and randies, right? Yes. So, you know, so I find out say Tony has smoke crack now. Tony pulled this cookie card pan, pan me because him don't want the people them know him that smoke crack at the time. Him tell them, say, oh, him search my clothes and him find out, say, me go sleep with man and him find D in my panty. And I'm, I'm aware of him and we go out. Yeah, that are what that are the room where he must smell. And D, what is D? Yeah, because he want me to feel small and if he got both when me I say say my smoke. You understand? Yes, yeah, so if I D, what I mean by, by D? Discharge. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, him family them them shame say them brother smoke, you know. But I'm glad this come up so it can take off the smoke or them brother smoke. You understand? Yes. Because it's not like them that do something to help him smoking and, and trying to have a stable life because he have two young kids. All right. So he you was understand? now in Canada. He was now in Canada. And what, what happened from there? Well, when I went to Canada, I was still in the into the yard, as I tell you, say, before I'm going, whenever I have no mattress on the bed. Anyway, I was there, um, I was there with the children and... Um, him send money a few times. Remember, I don't have ID because I was 16. I didn't have any um, passport or anything to collect money. So it mm-hmm. was his sister. So you know, Jamaica, it come a kid thing like when you have, when, when the man them gonna family, when the man them gonna foreign, you the mother is nothing now. You yes. know, in a, I'm to everybody, but I'm to some people. But it did happen to me, right? And this yes. are them problem now. Them brother got. And I'm foreign, and them don't want me getting the money. And then I remember saying, but I didn't mash up my life. Stop me from going to school. And then they did put him request, say, oh, he was in a back of school if you don't have the two kids then. Because guess what? The same one, I'm telling you, said, name Chris, him, him, him set up on me, him and his sister, gang me, fight me off, and take my kids them. And this is what them don't tell people. You understand? And I like me give my kids them to them in a willful way. So mm-hmm. anyway, to be honest, me, them run me out of them yard, me not have no way to live. And honestly, so when you yeah, left the yard, they had the kids? They had the kids, yeah. And to okay. be honest, I make them keep the kids because I never have no way to keep the kids. I have no bed. Remember, me are 17. I mm-hmm. touch 18. I don't have no bed. I don't live nowhere to keep the kids them. So I make the kids them stay with part them there. So when you, yeah. left, when you left the yard, what was the relationship like with you and the kids? Me and the kids them good, man. Me and the kids them. So, so you were, even though them running out of the yard, you were able to go back to them. Thing. All right, then. Yeah. All right, then. We are missing a lot of things, too. You see, I, yes. was, I was there for like three years. Because oh, so when Tony gone, left, you would have been there three years after? No, my dad there for like about a year and something. Okay. Oh, yeah. so in total, you were there for three years, including when Tony was there? Yeah, yeah in total, I oh. there for three years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm little yard, about 19 year old. Yeah. I'm the oh, I understand. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
So, because them brother have the woman now, them don't want the contention between me, the woman, the conflicting between me, Tony, and the woman. So that woman is what, what somebody who, 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 who you say, huh? um, in brother Chris. No, that woman is somebody who you say is brother Chris set him up on. No, and she set him, and she, and him set him up on Tony. Oh. Tony, him like a funny at himself and end up. Oh, oh. Yeah, but Chris, oh. I don't want to carry him to Canada. So, him yeah. end up. Meet the girl with him that talk to on the phone, so them end up, you know, they're married and whatever. Oh, so, okay. them don't want me now in the story because them brother might find somebody. You understand? That yeah. girl is a Jamaican or, or born Canadian? Well, I heard that she was born in Jamaica and then she went um up. I don't know how short is. Um, That's I'm Marcia, right? That's what they said, yeah. That's Marcia? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, uh, when I used to go phone Tony, Marcia... Like, you know, you have two phones in the house. So mm -hmm. when Tony was on the phone with me, you know, she would take up the other phone. So everything Tony said to me, she would hear, you yes. know. And she would diss Tony. And I said to God, me not lie. She would diss Tony. I'm telling you something with Tony. You see, Tony, he might be weird, but you see, Tony behave weird because of the influence. I'm two sister and plus the brother. Because mm -hmm. there was the one who tell Tony, say, oh, I have man. And you know that go, when they are foreign and you you they are foreign and your woman they are Jamaican. You hear say your woman have man, you know how that go. In yeah. the story. And that's mm -hmm. the only thing them could have tell him for make Tony this me. Regardless mm -hmm. if I smoke, yes or no. You understand? Yes. yes. So my, them do everything. Look here, Papa, I swear. You see, Tony, Tony just messed up too. Unless it to God. He just messed up too. And you see, because of the influence of the sister, my two sister, them and the brother. Mm-hmm. It get to Tony because he might believe them. Three, three, him two brother, him two sister and him brother can't tell life on me, right? Yes. You know, say so when Tony gone now, Papa, the meat, the amount of beat when me get from Tony and the whole lipa baga baga. But this side say, oh, them have the pity now. Let me live, look a bit. And I say to God, seriously, yes. me not lie to nobody. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I leave them with the kids them. But when them I take it to 11 now, when them feel like say, me are the kids them made and not their mother, I, 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 at me if you come wash picnic clothes, me cuss them off. Cause me mm -hmm. I get a girl, me cuss them off. Me say on a bright, I take me picnic them, because on a bread of money, I'm at a party to no want me if you come wash picnic clothes. On a bright, no better go look, wash a woman, because mm -hmm. I wash a woman no want. Fit on a bread of them picnic them, then go on go pay a wash a woman out of the money them want to collect. This how me they look on it at oh, the time. Oh, that's how you look at it then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah, so yes. I look on it then. Me not say yes. whenever they go, you know, we go go wash. But I never take it for take me them look here. Like them not respect me as a kid, their mother, but them mm -hmm. want me to wash the clothes them and the things them. Them want to yes. be oh, me had a good auntie, me, you know, because them I get the money. You understand? Yes. Meal tickets that of thing, right? So when me look on it, okay, when I take my kids them, but when I still want me to come be wash a woman because when I want me to play no other part but wash a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, we never into it with them, right? Because we stick up a little bit, honestly. So, mm -hmm. them not had the part that when me, when, 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 because remember, I know, me tell you this, you know, you have to go read this, this, Maji, when Maji do this, this report with this reporter as well, speaking a lot of things about me, when we never did mine, but the fact is, everybody are talking things and they not talk the truth. So, okay, yes. them, not, them not talk when, when, when they had the kids, I used to go over there, take the kids them for weekends, and bring to my yard and you know bring them back on a Sunday night because they have school Monday and I used to go over there when they birth they may buy cake bring for them you understand if I have mm -hmm. money can buy one suit I buy the suit if I have the money for buy the suit papa I buy the cake alone because of them birth there you understand mm -hmm. I remember them yes. still Jamaica long them go when they have five and six so okay. anyway me used to go over there go wash them clothes as I tell you, I remember, you know, I tell you, I never, I never graduated from school. You know, you yeah, get a thing start going, me have another child, and and then, me now, you know, things now mm -hmm. work out. Them have them, them will still go over there. So, yes. anyway, you know, I get this letter from um passport office that um I died, and the auntie want to take out the kid's passport. Because, honestly, to God, when I first get the letter, I'm like, I really remember me, because I don't have no one for it. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of thing. So when I open the letter and I want passport officer request me, then I said this to my mother, then what is this? When I go down to passport office, only for the final, so the auntie I try to get the um the pass, kiss them passport, fit 
Tony take my kids them behind my back. So when them mm-hmm. start to ask me now, say, when he start to do the car, when Tony gonna find you know, and the girls start to act up on the phone, you know, um, Papa, honestly, the way she had this Tony, and then Tony started to diss me, like, no call my phone, girl, start, you know, start to diss me. I not tell nobody, I like him. Let me tell you, say, the boy, diss me. The boy, diss me like I look a dirty clot. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yo, I say, when I go home the day, I say, I'll carry the lick me down because I like me, I lose my mind. And I say, no, sir. I can't make, me can't make this happen to me. And I did them this side. Pansiwa Drive. Say, me, Raquel, Bert, will never lose my mind. Mm-hmm. And I just say, never call him back. Never. And I decide, okay, them take them pity now. It done this so. Because for him, this me so, he not expect me to call him back. I mean, I do it. I'm a fierce yes. day, my band. September 11th, my fierce day. I let me mm-hmm. dead. So, boom, now. Mm-hmm. Um, when him goes so now and um, this me and him brother come with letter say oh my brother write a dot letter for you him say I'm not want you him say your panty them not have enough crutches Papa things you know Papa you know me at six you know me about eighteen them time you know she him kill me dead dog and if it goes sorry it never goes so me shame cause people mm-hmm. dead right yes. so anyway me make them win me make them win and go on with themselves and something so anyway you know. The kids then come for God foreign. You say you get a letter so, from passport. You say you get a letter from passport office. Yes, I'm going to a passport office. Them tell me say the auntie I try to get the kids them passport and report me dead. So I show them say me down dead. So that means say them plan crash. Say no say for me tell you say no say for them do the damage. Me not look back. You get me? Mm-hmm. Me may move on with my life now. So no, but how how, how comes how comes the passport office obviously you're dead and them still send you a letter. They want to no, verify? because they have to find out. They have to really find out. Oh, say, verification, yeah. Before, yeah, for verification, yeah. 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 They have to yes, forget yes. the ticket, surf ticket and whatever, for find out, say, yeah, me dead for two. So you went so down there then, and you proved it. Are you sure them saying you're yes, dead? And I then, went down there and I proved, say, me not dead. I'm here and alive and kicking. You understand? And, and what happened so, after? And I remember, you know, me tell you, say, for me, get the call and the boy dissed me for five mm-hmm. years. I not talk to him. I'll when I go over them yard and the, I'm the, over there on weekends with the kids them in my phone and the kids them up on the phone. I'm like, oh, my dad is on the phone. I not look. I not take the phone call. I not, not, not take the phone and I not speak to him. Never. Until one day now. You know, every time, not one day, every time people see me, they say, oh, Raquel, why you don't let the father try to file for the kids them? And why you don't let the kids them go? And whatever. Remind me, rem- remember saying, no, this one crackhead man when I know beat me and then the woman abusive on the phone to me, then it set me off in a way. Like, when my mom sent me pity them to them, the people there. Eh? You understand, Papa? Yes, yes. But you know, get the people, them are convinced to say, Oh, I better life for the kids, them, right? Yes. Say, okay. But on that day, day when my son, them are going far in Papa, I don't know. Something within me as a mother broke. And before that, stick up, stick up back, stick up, let me go back up. Yes, now, yes, yes, the sister one name, Beatrice, what did have my son, them, Papa. You say my son him got foreign. The first time I hear from my kids, them come over the boy promised me, say, me decide say, okay, me go send the kids them to you. Okay? Because he promised yeah. me, say, him not gonna make nothing to them. Because this is what me and him are worried about. Me say, remember your woman talk on the phone, you know, and go out with herself, bite, bite up herself and something. So me know say she are one aggressive person. Him say, oh no, she not say so are you or because of you, right? Hey, right? So, you know, from day one, him I blame me for everything. We say, all right, but me sign the paper and make him go on a foreign. So when them go far in now, him tell me, say, me go hear from the kids them. Papa, <laughs> the first time I hear from the kids them, you know, from the son, hear my voice, him start crying, that's the big one, Tigo. Him start yes. crying out, pick up another phone. And I say, Tigo, you know, me start getting emotional now. I say, Tigo, what happened? Tigo said to me, say, oh, she a beat him. But Tigo knows that she not the part, Tigo not realize that she the part the other phone in the room. Oh. Him a whisper because him know say she not the near, but him have a whisper because him know say she dead in the house. Saturday, and that was that would have been about how long after them them reached Canada. Look here, the December, like three weeks after. Yeah, you know when them go away, you remember when Jamaica? And they went away ninety seven, right? They went away ninety seven. Yeah, you remember when Jamaica beat, beat, beat Mexico and we get the one love and we have the mm-hmm. record year. This day when we get the holiday, other day they yes. go away. The day when they make November, the holiday. I think uh, today, you know, if I don't lie, you know. At the yeah. whatever, I think I told them. <laughs> uh, what a man. thing! I told them yeah. go away. Yeah, the twenty seventh of November. Yeah. Yes, when them get the holiday, is it sign? Is it God? God good. Yes. 
So a three weeks after that happened, me hear from mm-hmm. them. Auntie go a ball on the phone. So me now because the next papa, the papa, him not dead, eh? him not dead, eh, no? Him the America. Yes. So I hook him hook way up on the phone. And him a convince me, say, I like my pitney I tell. Me diss him. As me tell him, say, me and get a girl my mouth enough. Me diss him. Him no, oh, so I say, yeah, this man, me go send back your youth, them come give me. Me say, yeah, send them back, I'm ready for them. Me never hear from my kids, them again, all my work for number. Me say, me God give me dreams, say, my son I got dead. See me like, oh, my son dead, God give me the dream two weeks before. I mean, I talk to nobody, just a walk, I look the number, walk. And him not give me the number, you know. Them not give me the number for my son. Me tell you, me ask them for picture. Them not give me a picture of my son dead. Me not know, me not have no picture of them foreign. Me not, me not mm-hmm. talk to them again from that. You understand? And the whole community know that. Cause me not hide it. Me tell you, my mouth enough. Me talk. You understand? Yes. Me, yes. Me, 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 me voice, my opinion. You get me? But there was still no help. Because guess what? As me tell you, say, them higher than me in the community. So nobody not listen. My viewers, my subscribers, you're not here, nothing yet. Stick around. There is a whole heap more to come. And just in case you were wondering, the persons and the photo are seven-year-old Randy who was killed and his father, Edward Dooley, as also his stepmother, Marcia Dooley, who were sent to prison for killing him. We will continue with part two tomorrow. Don't miss it. The mayhem continues blessed love everybody tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about papa in news link and pnl blog tv like subscribe and share quick silver sin if we just unite what a country this will be if we just unite jamaica live in unity if we just unite what a country this will be Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder Cut it up, 